One of our members just sold over $100,000 on a brand new product in six weeks. Oh, and they had no email list, no audience, and uh, no product either. What? This is Ryan and Christina Tim. For nine years, they ran a margarita mix company that sold mostly in retail stores. And at its peak, it was doing between one and $1.2 million. That's pretty good. They built a million dollar business, but it took them almost nine years. After following the 12 months to 1 million method, they're now on pace to surpass the revenue of their old business after just a few months. So how did they do it? In this video, we're gonna break down what they did, what they sold, and how they sold it so that you can use the exact same strategies to build your million dollar business. Is it true that y'all had a six figure launch? We in the did. Yeah, yeah, the first six weeks we cleared 100,000. In the first six weeks, you cleared 100,000 in sales. Correct, and that included- all right, So let's just, I wanna, I'm gonna go all into it, but let's just cut right to the meat of it to kick things off. What did you do? to have a six figure launch in your first six weeks. Tell us how it unfolded. So how did this duo come from nowhere and build a business that's on pace to do over a million dollars in sales after being in business for just a few months? First, they launched what I call a perfect product. Second, they sprinted through the grind in just four weeks. And third, they executed what I call the traffic triangle to absolute perfection. We're gonna break down each one of these steps so that you can copy exactly what worked for them. You know what? We spent a lot of time kind of figuring out what products our current customer wanted to see in the marketplace. I talked to every single person. Um, we got a lot of negative feedback. Mm -hmm. And so then we changed our formula. And so we're telling people, we're listening to you, we're listening to you. And even today we've already, I mean, we launched our, um, in November, these sinless syrups, but we've already changed the formula again because of um, the feedback from everybody in that group. The first thing that this duo did was they built what I call a perfect product. A perfect product has three criteria. It has high volume, high margins, and one differentiating factor. The first part is having really high volume. That means going into a space where there's a ton of buyers and there's a lot of people buying similar type of products. The second thing that they did was they built the product with high margins. A lot of entrepreneurs think that you need to charge less in order to get a greater share of the market. I think that's wrong. You want to be a premium product in a high volume space. The third part of the perfect product formula is that you have one differentiating factor that allows you to own a specific space of the market. Some people call this a blue ocean strategy. This is where you do something very different in that space that no one's ever seen before. And so even though you're in a very competitive space, you're the first one to do it this way. So a perfect product has high value, high margins, and is just different enough for you to be able to own a specific part of the market. Here's how the Tims did this in their business. They entered a very competitive space. It's coffee, but they're not selling coffee. They're selling to coffee drinkers. They sell sugar-free syrups. These are flavors that you put into your coffee or your favorite drink. And since people drink coffee every day and a lot of people are obsessed with it, you have a lot of buyers in this space. They build a high margin product in the space. They didn't try to undercut everybody else. They tried to do something different and something better. The way that they did this was they created a natural product when all the other competitors had artificial ingredients and artificial sweeteners. Their target market demanded natural products and that required them to charge more money for that product. Because they knew who their person was, they were able to give the customer exactly what they wanted and as a result, charge a premium. So they did two things really well. They entered a high volume space and they built a high margin product. But because the product was different from everybody else, it gave them a space that they could dominate. That's a natural product with fun flavors for coffee drinkers. That is a perfect product. It's gonna sound like a lot of magic, but quite honestly, I don't think it was. Yeah, it started off as like a focus group, like literally, 
you know, I think it was like 50 people that I just added into this group. And I'm like, who likes coffee syrups? Who likes coffee? Can I send you a sample? And will you try it for me? And I, it was called something different than it's called right now. It was like, it was just called like the focus group, like yeah. the syrup, syrup focus group. As, so ba as basic as it could be, as simple as it could be, yes. give us feedback about our product. Here's what yep. we're up to. Will you try it and let us know if you like it? Correct. Yeah, because we thought the product was good. Um, we wanted to get honest feedback from people, to be honest, before we went out into the market with it. Because, yeah, of course, you know, reviews can kind of make it break. Yeah. So. So, so you did not have an email list. You didn't have an audience. You kind of grinded one together as a focus group. Okay. What, what? I know what you didn't have. What did you have to launch this thing? I say in my book, 12 months to 1 million, that if you have even a few hundred people who want what you've got, that's enough to do damage. That's enough to have a $10,000 launch, which is our goal for our students. Ryan and Tristina blew that out of the water with a $100,000 launch in six weeks. But they didn't start with a few hundred people. They started with 50. Going through the grind in this way got them feedback from potential customers. It allowed them to build goodwill with customers that would come back and leave a review. And it allowed them to get face to face with their target audience so they knew exactly how to speak to them. You don't have to have these things figured out when you start. You shouldn't have these things figured out when you start. You should launch the product, get feedback, and get to know your customers. That's how so many of our students get to the million in about 12 months. So they created a perfect product, they sprinted through the grind, and then number three, they followed the traffic triangle strategy to the T. The traffic triangle strategy is a way to build an audience of buyers quickly. Because when you do this strategy, every person who comes into your ecosystem it's warmed up to be a potential buyer. So it doesn't build the biggest audience in the world, but it does build really profitable audiences and it does it fast. Let's just digest, a, dissect how this went. So you were running top of funnel ads mm -hmm. to email capture to get on a pre-launch list and then bringing some of those people into the Facebook group. Yes. Perfect. So that's, that's tr so everyone, did you catch that? That's traffic triangle 101, right? We have, we have, we have a traffic source, a conversion source, and an engagement source where the community lives. Yep. And you can chop that up however you want. The way that Ryan and Tristina did it was their traffic came from ads. They mm -hmm. sent it to their conversion source and they engaged them by inviting those people who hit the landing page over into the Facebook group, which is exactly how I build mine internally as well. The traffic triangle requires three sources of traffic. One for exposure, one for connection and one for conversion. You need one source of exposure, one place to get in front of potential customers. You need a second place to engage with them and you need a third to sell to them. Here's how Ryan and Tristina did it. They ran ads to an email capture page. That was their launch list. They simply ran simple advertising to their target market saying, here's what we got and here's why you'll love it. You can go over to this page to get on the waiting list for when it's ready. Yeah, for when it's ready. They didn't even have product ready yet. After somebody opted in to be first in line for this product launch, they were then invited into a Facebook group where Ryan and Tristina were able to interact with their potential customers. This gives them exposure in the marketplace, leads who are ready and waiting to buy, and it gives you an intimate group of people who give you feedback on your product and your approach. By following the traffic triangle strategy, Ryan and Tristina were able to come out of the gate with over $100,000 in sales in their first six weeks. And now that the launch is over, they still have days where they sell up to $3,000 or $4,000 per day of their brand new product. This should be so encouraging for you to see because I teach this stuff every day to entrepreneurs, but this duo follow the plan exactly. The incubator program was really great for us because it took one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. And then we did that. Check. Yep. Easy. Yep. Check. Yeah, right. yeah. We didn't even really have to think that hard of what our next step was. It was just literally following the roadmap that was there. That's the honest guy truth. So I hope you see that it still works. And if you follow the directions, there's still plenty of opportunity to build million dollar businesses today. I want more Ryan and Tristina's. 
I need more people who will just do the thing. If you want to be like Ryan and Tristina, and you want to build the perfect product with high margins and high volume, and you can follow the traffic triangle strategy to the T, please go download my free product that I put out for people to show them how to build a million dollar net worth. If you go to capitalism.com slash million, I've just released a new free course that will show you how to build a million dollar net worth, come up with your first product idea, come out of the gate with sales, and be on the road to $1 million. But unlike this free course, this video was not free. If you found value in this video, the cost of admission is clicking the like button and hitting subscribe. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments and I'll see you next time.